What's up everybody, we're back. So I haven't done a NAMM video in a long time, so when I saw the news about this latest plugin, I really wanted to get on and show you guys. And this is my first time running through it too, so this will be first impressions and just kind of checking out the plugin. This is NAMM Universal by a company called WaveMind. I don't know anything about WaveMind, I know a little bit about this plugin. The free plugin, it's built around NAMM. It has a bunch of extra features, which I think will help take this to the next level. So let me stop talking and let's get into it. So this is the plugin, this is what it looks like when you open it. Again, this is my first time using it too, so we're all looking at this together. I think this is a tuner here, always a plus to have a tuner. Input mode, you have mono or stereo. I'm gonna stick with mono because I'm just playing guitar. Once you actually make some presets, I'm sure you can load it here. So the plugin is set up to look like a rack full of rack gear. I think it looks cool. I believe the signal chain just goes from top to bottom. First thing we have here is this pedal profiler. So instead of having multiple instances of NOM to have to load your pedals and your NAM profiles, you can do it all here in this plugin, which I think is really cool. And one thing this has that I think sets it apart from other plugins, especially for beginners trying to get into the neural amp modeler, is that it has a bunch of profiles already downloaded and ready to go with this. I was getting ready to demo this, but I don't actually have any pedal profiles, so I was about to go on Tone Hunt and get it. Then I just hit load, and it has a whole set of them right here already. And it's from people I'm already familiar with, like Tim R and Philip Pris. I don't know the other guys, but I'm sure they're great. Fat Dracula. So having a set of curated profiles already on this plugin, I think sets it up for success. This last time I checked on Tone Hunt, there were like 16,000 profiles, so having to sift through all that and find the good ones can be a real pain in the butt. But having something curated that they like, I think it's really cool. And they have arrow keys too, which is freaking awesome. Let's do the Tim R TS9. So now we have this instigator rack unit. Looks like it's an EQ with a bright switch and a shift switch. I don't know what the shift switch does. And then you turn the rack unit on over here. That's cool. Okay. The third rack unit is the amp profiler. This is where all your profiles come from. Guitar and bass are preloaded on this, which is awesome. They have some Emil profiles, which I've used before. Arlington Audio makes great profiles. Philip Priss. I don't know the other guys, but we're just going to go with Tim R since we're already using this stuff. God, there's so much good stuff on here already. We're going to go clean without the pedal for now. We have the aggravator, which is some other options. Then we have dual IR loaders, which is really cool. Let's see what we have on here already. Let's try Philip stuff. Let's go Marshall 1960 with a 57. So if you're not getting sound maybe check the output make sure it's really cranked because it seems like you have to push this really hard or maybe i'm dumb your experience may vary all right so that's crunch with no boost now we're bringing in the pedal profile so from there your normal Neural Amp Modeler tone experience should pretty much be the same, but now you have some extra features. Let's check out this aggravator. Let's pick a different profile, something less gain, so we can really see what the other things are doing. Arlington Audio always has good stuff. Jet City thing is really cool. Low gain, neck pickup, gain three. All right, instigator off. Just mess with some knobs. Let's hit the bright switch. Shift switch. Okay, a bunch of EQ options there. That's always fun. Let's hit the aggravator. Turn it off first. So smooth sounds like a low pass to me. It's 
tight a high pass. That's what it sounds like to me. That might be like a presence thing. And just like a low end thing. A lot of flexibility right there. That's pretty cool. Let's turn it off for now. Then, of course, you got your IRs down here. You can scroll through them. And you can go to wherever your IRs are located, whatever directory you have them in. It's probably more convenient if you put it in the NAMU folder where they have theirs already, but you have to do that if you don't want to. And of course you have your blend knob here, so you can just do one or the other. This guitar is real twangy. Overall, I think this thing is real cool. This is a good option for anybody that like doesn't want to use the neural amp modeler because it can be a little bit complicated and convoluted, especially if you want to do pedal profiles, you have to load a separate instance of NAM to run in two NAMs. So instead of having just one amp sim, your effects chain is like four or five plugins. And I understand why people don't want to use NAM because of that. This is a good solution to get around that. So two things here that I think we're missing that would make this even better. And just to clarify, I'm no expert at anything. I am just an idiot on the internet with an opinion and I happen to play guitar. So if I'm looking for effects, I still have to load an effects plugin or use tonocracy or amp blocker or anything like that. And the other thing which isn't widely used at all just yet, but I think it is the next big thing, would be to add another NAM profile loader for the cab section. I think speaker profiles are going to be big, just like you have amp profiles with NAM and Tonex and all that. Capturing the amps, the same technology can and is being applied to the other side of the chain as well. So we're talking cab, speaker, mic, mic preamp, everything after that. So all the benefits of using the NAM technology to capture amps could be on the other side too. And it's being done by Neutron Audio. Definitely go check out the Quantum Speaker. I'll do a video on that very soon. Based on null tests, they're supposed to be 99.3% accurate to the original source, while IRs are like 80% of the way there. But having another NAM file loader type thing after the amp or the speaker profiles, I think would be really cool. It'd be pretty easy to do, I think, here. Just copy and paste the uh, pedal profiler down below the NAM profiler. Call it the speaker profiler. Seriously, if you haven't seen those speaker profiles yet, go to Neutron Audio. Check out the Quantum Speaker. I will never be able to do it justice. It's great stuff. It's super accurate. When I loaded the first one up, it reminded me of back when I used to mic up guitar amps. I was like, oh yeah, this is what it's like. So effects and a speaker profiler I think would be cool. Obviously, I'm an idiot. I don't know how to do any of that, so I'm just talking here. So take what I say with a grain of salt. Anyways, I think this thing is awesome. I've never heard of Wave Mind before, so I'll have to check out their other stuff too. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or feedback for me, go ahead and leave a comment, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.